guys! So today is finally the day I'm going to Stray Kids concert. My ticket, of course, I already knew wasn't going to be the greatest because I got the stage side tickets. So I knew I was going to be kind of like behind the stage and not be able to see most of the stage. But hopefully the members come to my side, especially Han. Hopefully he comes, but it's raining pretty bad today. So I basically gave up on getting merch. I'm just going to go for my light stick and see what's left. I kind of took my time getting ready. By the time I get there, it's going to be like 1230, close to 1 maybe. So we'll see what's left. Only ticket holders can buy merch. So there should be quite a bit of stuff left. But the main things like the tote bag t-shirts and maybe some other things might sell out so we'll see i do have my han uchiwa already and i have my towel so i don't really need those things i just mainly need my light stick which shouldn't run out because it didn't run out before and yeah i'll just see what else i can get from there but i'm gonna go head over there i don't know how much i'm gonna be filming while i'm at the venue because of the rain We'll see, but for sure once I get back or maybe tomorrow, I'll give you guys a little recap of the concert and just my experience. So please look forward to that, but I'll see you guys hopefully in a little bit. Hey guys, I just got back from my concert. It's past midnight right now, so I don't want to talk super loud. Also, I'm a really big mess right now, so don't mind the mask. I'll do a full recap tomorrow because it's just too late and... I want to be able to share everything with you guys, not make too much noise. It's really late and I don't want to upset my neighbors. I just wanted to share a few quick things of what happened at the concert. My seats were a lot better than I expected and so much stuff happened. And I really want to give you guys details now. Like I'll tell you two main things that happened. Han kept coming to my area a lot. So it was super cute. And then like I did this at one point and... I don't know if other people were doing it too, but he completed the heart. So I made a heart with Han. I'm pretty sure it was me because it looked like he was looking in my direction. At least I want to hope he was. But I made a heart with Han. And Hyunjin, oh my god. During Charmer, when they were like up on the raised stage, he looked in our direction and he licked his lips. Like he stuck his tongue out. Oh my god. I almost died. Just, it almost killed me. Oh my god. But other stuff happened too, so I'll kind of update you guys later. But I just wanted to tell you guys that now while it's still like fresh in my memory and I'm like freaking out over it. But I'm so glad my seats are so good. Like I didn't expect a lot because it's stage side. Usually it's like behind the stage and you can't see much. But this one you actually could basically see the whole main stage and everything. So that was really nice and unexpected. But yeah, I'll update you guys more tomorrow because I'm really tired and it is late and I don't want to talk too much. So that's my quick update. Please look forward to the rest. You'll see it in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to go to, I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to go to sleep and I'll update you guys tomorrow. Also, I did buy more merch. So please look forward to that as well. So I'm back guys. It's the next day now. Sorry I couldn't really update you guys yesterday. It was really late. So I didn't want to be noisy. So I just gave you that quick little recap and I'm going to give you the full recap from what I can remember today as well as share the new merch I bought because I bought a lot more merch because they did have additional ones plus they had stuff that I missed out online and I couldn't buy. So I'll get more into the merch later, but first the recap. Oh my god, I still can't believe the seat I had. Like, I... Either way, I was happy. I wouldn't say I was disappointed. A little sad that it wasn't normal seats because the stage side additional seats, usually the view is pretty bad. Like, I've had it before. You usually can't really see the main stage at all because usually it's behind like a wall and like I could see the outer stage but it's usually from behind which of course this time the outer stage I was watching from behind as well but sorry if the camera's moving my cat's rubbing on the tripod yeah it was so much better than I thought I actually had like a direct view of the members whenever they came out to that side of the stage so I was really happy with where I was even though some of the performances I couldn't see if they went towards like the back of the stage because like then they were kind of blocked but that rarely happened I would not change that seat for anything like it was oh my god I can't believe how good they were Oh, I was so sad at first. Again, like I said, not disappointed because I was just happy to get tickets because getting tickets was so hard. I applied a lot because there was like seven, eight rounds 
And I applied for all four Tokyo dates for each round. So a total of 34, 32. Sorry, my math is kind of off right now. But out of all of those applications, I got that one ticket. So I was just happy to go and hear them sing live. After seeing my seat, it was just that much more exciting. But anyway, it was crazy. <laughs> It was, really. Like, I could see a lot of things you don't normally see from normal seats because, like, I can see them from the side and not just the front. So most times, members weren't blocked during performances and stuff. And Charmer, oh my god, Hyunjin, he, like, licked his lips or, like, he stuck out his tongue when he faced in our direction before, like, turning around. But... I don't think a lot of people noticed it because I didn't hear people scream, which we were able, sort of, technically we weren't allowed to scream, but people were screaming here and there anyway. I was screaming sometimes. They weren't super strict about it. It wasn't like they'll kick you out if you scream. So some people did scream when they felt like it, but most times we just used the clapper. But I was like, <gasps> and then like nobody else reacted. So I don't think anybody saw it. It was like a really like, you know, quick stick out the tongue kind of thing. And I was just like, did I just see that? I know I didn't imagine it. I saw it. Too bad I don't have video of it. And again, if you guys don't know, Japan is really strict with filming. So there's no video whatsoever of the concert that I could share with you guys. No video that I've taken because I don't want to take the chance. If they catch you, it's immediate. Like, they kick you out as well as they kick you out of the fan club. Like, they take your name and information and they kick you out of the fan club. And basically, they ban you from future concerts. I don't know if that part's true, but if you're not in the fan club, it's hard to get into concerts. So, yeah, a lot of people don't take that risk. I definitely don't. I just take the risk before and after because at that time, the most they'll do is tell you to delete it. But during concerts, it's immediate, like, dismissal. So, anyway. I'm kind of a little, like, fuzzy on which songs what happened. Because, like, I would remember it at the time, be like, oh my god, this happened, you know, during Charmer. But then, like, after the concert, I was like, wait, what song did I see that in? And then I heard Charmer, and I was like, oh wait, it was this song. <laughs> so sorry if I don't remember song names, but also, during Ya Ya Ya, I made a heart with Han. I'm pretty sure it was me, because it looked like he was looking in my direction. There could have been other people doing hearts as well, but, like, I did this, and in, like, I did it with my left hand. So he would need to do it with his left hand to like, complete it. But, like, he was doing it with his right hand, and then he switched his mic and did it to the left hand, and then, like, looked in my direction and then, like, pointed after. So I'm pretty sure it was me. I made a heart with Han. And before I go any further, they did tell us we're not allowed to make handmade signs or handmade, like, uchiwas. A lot of people did anyway. I kind of wish I did. But instead of doing a sign, I did do this. So I'm pretty sure he saw that. I don't know. It's kind of small, so I'm not 100% sure how well he could see it. But I'm pretty sure it was decently noticeable. During Yeah Yeah Yeah, Changbin was in front of us a lot. He came to our side a lot. He really liked our area. Han came over quite often too. And all the other members, they came here and there. But it wasn't like a lot, a lot. Like memorable a lot. Hyunjin also paid attention to our side a lot. He would do like hearts and stuff. And then during their little like unit speaking time, before they started singing like when they were just speaking, he would like head towards our direction. He'd be like tilting his head, like looking at the crowd. And then like the fans were like tilting their heads along with him and he was reacting. It was just so cute. Oh my God, the seat was so good. But anyway, <laughs> other than that, like nothing too interesting happened like interaction wise with the members other than them constantly coming over doing hearts and stuff like that. But it was hard to tell like who they were interacting with. And then there is one point, I don't remember which song, I can't remember at all, but Bang Chan did something, he like tripped or messed up or like did something and then he was like moving into position. So like he was like laughing and then Han just kind of like looked at him confused and then started laughing and then Hyunjin looked at Han and then just kind of gave that look like, what's going on? What happened? And then Han's just like, and then they started laughing. So, like, that kind of thing was going on during the performance. But, like, I saw it happen. I was just like, oh, my God, like, what's going on over there? I missed what happened with Chan. But, like, I saw the interaction that happened after that. And it was just so cute. And I saw some other interactions here and there where the members would, like, look at each other during performances and just start, like, smiling and laughing. So, like, it was, oh, my God, like, ah. The kind of stuff you don't normally see. Especially if it's through, like, the camera, watching, like, online or something. There was another part where they had, like, these steam guns. And then 
the first like push of the button, it's supposed to blow confetti. But when Bang Chan was like right in front of our area, but he faced it down when he pushed it, so all the confetti went towards the ground, and he was just like he looked up and he was like started laughing and then he like blew the confetti with the gun so he was like pointing the gun at the ground instead of like up in the air like he was supposed to and then he pointed it in the air after but that was really funny as well i don't know if that got caught on camera but that was interesting to see han tripped and almost fell that again that was on the outer stage so i don't know if that was caught on camera in circus i can't remember who the other members the last member was like i don't know why i can't remember but there's that one part where Bang Chan, Han, Sung Min, and one, I think it was Ayan, if I'm not mistaken. They do like this little like spinny thing. And this time, all four of them just kind of ran. But Sung Min kind of separated from Han and he was like trying to catch up. But that was kind of funny. And then I, like I get, like I said, I can't remember if it was Ayan. No, I think it was Sung Min. Sung Min, when he was heading back into position for the next part of the song, he tripped on someone's foot. <laughs> and like, oh, that was so funny. I need to go like figure out which members it was because like some of it, like I only focus on certain members sometimes. Like I kind of don't really remember who like other members were. But that was really interesting and funny to see. It happened really quick. So that's why even more so I can't remember who the other member was. But Sung Min tripped on someone's foot when getting into the next position after the spin. <laughs> that was really funny. I'm pretty sure that not many people saw. So again, the seat was really amazing. Like I might have left out some things. I don't totally recall everything because so much stuff happened. It was just so crazy. They were so close. And like sometimes when the members would come over to my side, I was only paying attention to the member there. So I didn't notice like anything else that was going on. Yeah, that that's basically my recap. Sorry if it was really long, but really a lot happened. And I just, I still can't believe it. It really feels like a dream. Anyway, that's all I have for the recap. Unfortunately, again, I don't have pictures or videos. I can only show you the picture of where my seat was. Now, before I get into the merch, I didn't take any videos of the venue itself. I was planning to, but it was raining really, really bad. And like later in the afternoon, it kind of stopped raining, but by then I was a mess. And I met up with some people I met on Bubble, if you guys don't know about Bubble, but there's a Japan group chat and I met some people from there. So we were hanging out and stuff, so I didn't want to film while hang like meeting new people and stuff like that. So I just kind of enjoyed myself while I was there. If you guys are interested in what the venue looked like, I'll link the video I posted last month, which I kind of did a little bit of the venue. Really, there wasn't much there to film period there wasn't even like a sign to take pictures with or take pictures of there kind of wasn't anything at all just the booths and the lines so if you guys are interested in what that looks like or like what the building looks like also i did record some sound check last time but before this video gets any longer let me share my merch because i did buy a lot again so i got what i really 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 wanted i got the tote bag I'm so excited. I thought I was going to run out. I basically gave up on it and I kind of went to the venue later than I was originally planning to because I gave up on it and also because it was raining. I was just like, ah, I'm just going to go later. So I got there around 1 p.m. but they still had it. They still had it till late but I guess not a lot of people were buying the tote bags today because last month I think it ran out by like 11 or something like that, 11.30. I got the tote bag. You can see the pins. I'll get into that later. But I also got the badges. Both hun. And you can see I got the shirt as well. And I got the towel. So this one is exclusive to the today and yesterday's dates. If you see, there's dates on it. Each Japan venue had different ones. If you bought it online, you could get any one you wanted. So I could have got them all if I wanted to. But I actually like this one the best. But I also wanted it because that was the one I was going to. So I got the towel. And also, before I get more into the merch, I have my clapper as well. It's actually, it held up pretty well. Like, there is some, oh, I just ripped it just now. There are some, like, creases and stuff from, like, clapping. But this is what the clapper looks like. And then when you fold it, you just, it's pretty loud. Sorry. And of course, I got the light stick. I took the light stick out already, so I have it here. It's super bright. 
but the light stick so hard to spin the compass and then I also bought the Han light stick strap so I have Han here as well of course I have the Uchiwa which this I actually bought online I was using this as well as having the mask and now into some of the more complicated stuff I bought the name badges oh actually before name badges I also bought the acrylic keychain which this sold out like 10 minutes after I bought it so I'm glad I arrived when I did Felix and Lino was already sold out by the time I got there but it's super cute just maniac ah, Han Kuka is so cute and I also have the name badges so I didn't get Han I had to trade and I was able to trade both my Sungmin's for Han sorry Sungmin I have this one's the Skidzu one I think it's Japan exclusive but I got Lino's one and I have Felix's one and I have Chengbin so I have that and I already showed you Han's one but I traded Sungmin for that and now for the other badges I have Lino and I have Chengbin so I had Lino, Changbin, and then Sungmin, but I traded Sungmin for Han. So it was a little hard, but I was able to trade, so I'm happy. I got Han. Again, let me show you Han's one. Ah, I'm so excited. Anyway, that got pretty long. Hopefully it's not too long, but I hope you guys enjoyed my recap. I am just uh, I still can't believe it. And if you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you may not know, but I also won the video call with Han, and they finally announced the date for it. So I have my video call with Han on the 11th, on August 11th. So I'll be secretly recording it if I don't get caught. I've gotten caught before. If I successfully make it, then I'll be posting a video on it as well. If not, I'll do a recap without a video, but... I'm really excited for that. I don't know what to say to Han. I mean, I say that all the time for all my video calls, but I don't know what to say to Han. It's my first time and like, uh, I don't know. I'm probably just going to tell him like, oh, you're so awesome. Like, I love you or something like that. We'll see. But anyway, look forward to that when that does come out. And sorry for the long video, but if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.